One in eight women will be diagnosed with breast cancer within their lifetime. This is equivalent to 45 seats in this theater tonight. In most cases, it is the spread of breast cancer that results in patient death. But if diagnosed early, this is preventable. My name is Olivia Sale, and I'm from the Department of Medical Biophysics. My research is in breast cancer imaging. So let's imagine for a moment that the stages of breast cancer can be demonstrated by the life cycle of a dandelion. As the cancer progresses towards stage four, it grows and may eventually begin to spread to other regions in the body. We all know that for dandelions to prosper, there are some basic requirements. First, the wind must spread around the seeds, and second, the seeds must germinate onto fertile soil. Cancer is like this too. Cancer requires the support of immune cells called macrophages. Macrophages can help cancer spread to other regions in the body. Tumors are like the mother weed. Tumors contain many macrophages. Macrophages are the most abundant and influential cell in the tumor microenvironment. And this is especially true for aggressive cancers. So now we have seen that the most dangerous cancers have many macrophages in them, and that macrophages are required for cancer spreading. So there are many therapies that aim to target macrophages, but there are very, very limited approaches for imaging macrophages during this diagnosis and treatment. We propose using MRI. Macrophages can ingest a fluorine contrast agent, and we can image them with fluorine MRI. As shown in panel A, B, and C here, I'm showing you three different tumors. A is the least aggressive tumor, and C is the most aggressive. Without the colored signal on top, it may be difficult to distinguish which tumor is which. But with the fluorine signal on top, which tells you about the number of macrophages present, we can easily distinguish that tumor C is the most aggressive. Another advantage of our technique is we are able to find regions in the body where cancer is going to spread. For example, in picture D, I'm showing you a picture of a lung, and our fluorine signal perfectly delineates where the cancer is spreading to the lung. Our hope is that this technique can be used to monitor macrophage content in both primary tumors and metastases for the diagnosis, treatment, and therapy of breast cancer. Thank you.